Hey, what's up? Sean Fagan here from Muay Thai Guy, and today we're going over a 20-minute heavy bag workout that you can follow along with that's specific to Muay Thai. And this is what we're going to be going over. And if you like it, you'll definitely like the Heavy Bag Blueprint, which is a complete course I came out with. So go and check that out. But if you're ready, let's get right into it. All right, you ready to get into this workout? Let's get right to it with some jabs and lead teeps. Now these two strikes right here are super critical for you to land anything else and to gauge your range and distancing between you and your opponent. So make sure when you're jabbing and teeping, although this is the warm up round, everything should be perfect technique. So make sure you bring your knee up nice and high and then teep and make sure you're trying to teep with the balls of your feet. When you're throwing those jabs, your elbows nice and tight, your hands are up. You can throw some double jabs in there, some double teeps in there. You can throw a jab followed by a teep or a teep followed by a jab. Just want to mix it up, stay nice and loose, nice and rhythmic, and just get really good control and balance in both of your strikes. Make sure you're staying in control. Make sure you're staying loose. Throwing some jabs, throwing some teeps, maybe throwing some fakes in there every now and then. Just having fun with it, warming up. Jab and teep. Double jab, double teep. Nice. Round number two is the jab or roundhouse. And another simple combination, but a super effective combination. There's a couple things you want to take in consideration. First, when you throw the jab, it helps if you take a small step out. So this way you can open up your hips. So this way you can really turn your hips over and land with the shin on the heavy bag. Make sure when you jab, you're using the full extension. So this way you can gauge your range and the kick come in with full force. Now, if you enjoyed this workout and want a complete course on the heavy bag, make sure you check out theheavybagblueprint.com. And since you're watching this video, just use the code YouTube for 20% off. And you get 20% off one of the most badass courses on the heavy bag. Well, let's get right back into it. Throwing the jab roundhouse. Making sure you're nice and controlled. You're still warming up, but you're, you're starting to add some power to your strikes now, too. So jab roundhouse. One more time. Jab, roundhouse. Alright, combo number three is cross switch kick. And same concept. You want to flow nicely. You want to stay nice and technical. So you want to throw the cross. And as your body rotates with the cross, the natural reaction, the counter rotation is going to go into the switch kick. So you throw the cross, follow it up with a switch kick. When you throw the switch kick, make sure you have a small switch. You don't want to telegraph it because then your opponent can see it. So a nice cross, quick switch kick. Let's do it again. Cross, switch kick. Same concept. When you throw the switch, if you can take a small step out to your right, this is if you're orthodox, it'll help open up your hips. So this way your hip can turn over more and you can land with the shin on the heavy bag. So we got three more. Let's do cross, switch kick. Good, let's add some power. Cross, switch kick. One last time. Cross, switch kick. Awesome job. Now we have a 45 second break to rest and relax before we go into round number two. But during this break, I want to mention the importance of perfecting your kick technique. And if you haven't watched this video that I did with my training partner, Cassie, about the common mistakes that I see beginners make when trying to throw their roundhouse kick, I highly recommend checking out to make sure you're not making any of these mistakes. So click on the card on the top right of the screen if you want to watch this video. But if not, you can save it for later because I know you're doing this heavy bag workout right now. But I just want to emphasize the importance of throwing the roundhouse with perfect technique or as close to being perfect as you can get. But for now, let's get ready to go into round number two. All right, let's get right into it with the left side strikes only. So this is all your lead side strikes if you're orthodox, or this is all your rear side strikes if you're southpaw. And this is really important to do because it helps with your broken rhythm striking because oftentimes you're throwing left, right, left, right. So if you're able to double up on your left side, it can really change the rhythm and the mechanics of your strikes, which can mess up your opponent's timing and rhythm. So you're throwing the jab, you're throwing the elbows, knees, kicks, teeps, any weapon you want, any of the eight limbs you want, but on your left side. And don't forget, if you're enjoying these types of videos, make sure you subscribe because I'm coming out with a lot more heavy bag workouts, shadow boxing workouts, full body workouts, and everything in between. 
So subscribe, click on the bell icon so this way you don't miss any of the new videos. But let's finish off with some left side strikes. Throw some jab switch kicks, jab switch knees, throw in some teeps, some lead elbows, and everything in between. Finish strong. Let's go. All left side. And now we got all right side strikes. So this is all your rear side if you're orthodox or your lead side if you're southpaw. And this is really good to emphasize the power because if you're righty, all your strikes are coming from the right side. So throwing the right cross, the right push kick, the right roundhouse, all this stuff is primarily your power side. So mixing up the rhythm, throwing some right crosses followed by right kicks or right push kicks followed by right kicks and mixing up and diversifying your strikes as much as you can from the right side might be a little bit of a challenge but it's super important to get comfortable with so throwing some right crosses, right body hooks right roundhouses, right knees throw some right elbows, right teeps everything you can think of finish strong, you got another 15 seconds of just your right side strikes Now let's finish this round with boxing only. So this is all your hand combinations you can think of. Throwing some double jabs, following up with a one-two, changing levels, going on the body, going to the head, and trying to make sure that your technique is as crisp and as powerful and fast as possible. Make sure that you're focusing on your defense as well. So when you're throwing your right side strikes, or your right side punches in this case, your left hand should be glued to your face. And same goes with the opposite. When you're throwing your left hand, your right hand should be glued to your face, and your punches should be retracting right back to your face. So this way you can avoid any type of counter strikes or counter punches. So throwing nice, good combinations. You can double up on the same side. You can throw some cadence striking with left, right, left, right. Or you can throw some double lefts or double rights. Make sure you're going to the body. Make sure you're going to the head. Finish strong. Last five seconds. Boxing combinations. Throwing some power. Throwing some crisp strikes. Let's go. We got another 45 second break and during this break I want to just mention again the heavy bag blueprint which is this in-depth course that I took a lot of time to create just for you anyone who wants to train by themselves just using the heavy bag because it comes with a hundred striking combo tutorials 35 heavy bag drills 30 heavy bag workouts and a 24 week follow along program and the best thing of all since you're watching this video you get 20% off if you use the code YouTube at checkout this is a complete course whether you are a complete beginner or an advanced striker it has something for everybody so make sure you go to heavybagblueprint.com to check it out. All right, let's get ready for round number three, and we want to start off with some alternating teeps. So in this video, you'll see me throw three teeps with one side and then alternate my teeps and throw three teeps on the other side. Sometimes I'll just keep alternating. Sometimes I'll double up. But the main idea is I want to be mixing and matching my teeps, whether it's the left side or the right side. Control, balance, precision are all super important when you're throwing the teeps and the teeps are arguably the most important strike when it comes to Muay Thai. You can ask any Thai fighter from Thailand and they'll say the teeps are super, super important. So make sure that you're focusing on this. Don't just half-ass this. Make sure your teeps are stabbing into the heavy bag, throwing your left teep, right teep, left teep, right teep, doubling up on your left, doubling up on your right and mixing it up. Finish strong. Now let's put together a nice combination of the jab, roundhouse, cross, switch kick. Now you notice I might not always switch kick. I might just step into the left kick or use a pendulum kick. It's really up to you. The main idea is I'm throwing the left jab, right roundhouse, then the right cross, and left kick. And you can throw switch kick or pendulum kick. It's all up to you. So jab, roundhouse, cross, switch kick. Let's do it one more time. Super powerful. Jab, roundhouse, cross, switch kick. Boom, there you go. If you're enjoying this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up so I know that I'm doing a good job and I know that you want me to make more videos just like this. And I also appreciate any comments or input on the type of videos that you'd like me to make in the future. But let's get right back into it. Jab, roundhouse, cross, switch kick. 
We got two more combinations. Jab, roundhouse, cross, switch kick. Finish strong. Finish powerful. One more time. Jab, roundhouse, cross, switch kick. Well done. Final minute of this round, we're going to have some fun. You're going to throw any combination you want. They're going to finish with a check and a kick. So throw any type of combination. It could be hand combinations followed with a teep, hand combinations followed with a kick. But at the end, I want you to bring up your leg to check. Just like your opponent is going to be throwing a counter at you, you're going to check and return. It could be the same side kick. It could be the opposite side kick. It doesn't matter. I just want you to check and return and get used to defending. Because a lot of times when you're on the heavy bag, you can just use all your offense without focusing at all on defense. So make sure that you're focusing on defense. Every combination, you finish with a check and you finish with a counter and a kick. And don't forget, use the code YouTube for 20% off if you want a complete course on the heavy bag. But let's finish strong. Combinations, hand combinations, finish with a kick. Now check and return. Beautiful. One more combination. Finish with a kick and then check and return. All right, we're in a 45 second break again, and I want to share with you another video that I think you'd like. And this is a shadow boxing workout that I filmed on the beaches of Koh Phangan, Thailand, right in my backyard. And if you want a follow along workout where you can kind of do something similar like we're doing in this heavy bag workout, make sure you click on the link to check out this workout so you can follow along with me as I go through a shadow boxing routine. And if you like these kind of videos, be sure to let me know so this way I can continue making more. I'm still trying to figure out what the best content is for you and for the rest of my followers. So if you like anything specifically, please leave your thoughts in the comments below and I'll do my best to make those types of videos. But for now, let's get into round four. Let's start throwing some elbows. So we're going to throw a jab, follow it with a lead elbow, and then we're going to throw a jab and follow it with a rear elbow. And we're just going to get used to throwing any type of elbow. It can be a spear elbow. It could be a horizontal slashing elbow. It doesn't matter. We're just going to be alternating. So you're going to throw the jab. The jab's job is to cover distance. So make sure that you're stepping in, whether you're jabbing or stepping in with the elbow. But you're going to throw the jab and follow up with an elbow. And like I said, I would love to hear your input if you're enjoying this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and comment below with any type of suggestions for future videos you'd like me to make. And I'll do my best to make that happen. But let's go. We got another 15 seconds of just jabs and elbows. So jab, left elbow. Jab, right elbow. Jab, left elbow. Really throw some power and use your body weight to get into those elbows. Don't want to be too far out. Make sure you're stepping forward. One more time. Jab, elbow. All right, you ready for a challenge? Let's do some balancing teeps. And first, we're going to start off with a balancing left teep. You're just going to be throwing the left teep at the heavy bag over and over and over again. And make sure you're using your upper body to help with your counterbalance. See, as I'm throwing my left teep, my left arm is swinging down. That's super critical for me to, A, have more power in my teep, and B, to help with my balance. So we've got another 10 seconds left of this. Throw in your left teep. Stay nice and controlled, nice and balanced. Looking good. Well done. And guess what's next? Balancing a right teep. Same concept. Now my right arm is swinging down. My teep is stabbing into the heavy bag. I'm using the balls of my feet to hit the heavy bag. Not the heel, not the flat part of the foot, but the balls of my feet. And the key is to stay balanced because if you're losing your balance in your teep, you're going to fall forward and you're going to be open for counters. So make sure you do these type of drills and don't overlook these drills because like I said, the teeps are super, super important to Muay Thai. Uh, we're just getting started. Let's go back to the balancing left teeth. We really got to work on that balance because when it comes to Muay Thai, balance and control are the two key factors to having good technique. So if you're liking this video, like I said before, make sure you subscribe because you're not going to want to miss out on future videos and future workouts, especially if you're enjoying these heavy bag workouts or shadow boxing workouts because I'll be coming out with a lot more. But stay balanced. Keep throwing those teeps. Finish strong, and you can guess what the next 30 seconds are going to be, right? The balancing right teeth. Let's get right back into it. 
nice and controlled. Make sure that post leg is nice and straight. It helps if you have that post leg, in this case it's my left leg, uh, pointed horizontally or my feet are pointed horizontally as you can see. So this way it gives me a little bit of a stronger base to teep off of. And then you're using your upper body, making sure you're breathing, making sure you're staying in balance, and making sure you're staying controlled. Looking good. Just got another five seconds. Keep balance, keep controlled. Well done. Now we got a 45 second break again, and then we're going into the last round. And during this 45 second break, I want to mention that if you want to train with me in Thailand at Diamond Muay Thai, where this is filmed, make sure you check out our training camps and Muay Thai retreats at MuayThaiVacation.com. During the retreats like this one in the beaches of Kefalonia, Greece, I teach all the techniques and run all the classes. And we also have retreats in Nosara, Costa Rica, where we train on the beach and at a beautiful resort called Jungle's Edge. We get to travel eat delicious food, hang out with awesome people, and just enjoy an active vacation where you come home in better shape than when you left. So make sure that you check out MuayThaiVacation.com if you want to join me at a future retreat or training camp. But let's get into the fifth and final round and start it off with some power right roundhouses. And like I said before, you want to throw power, but you want to make sure that your technique is on point. So you should be nice and warmed up and nice and loose now. So step hard, turn over those hips, and really drive that shin through the heavy bag for some powerful kicks. If you want some tips, drills, and exercises, even a full kicking routine, make sure you click the link in my bio for a free download while I'll walk you through my kicking routine to develop more power in your roundhouse kicks. It's something that I do every single day. It only takes 10 minutes a day, so I highly recommend checking it out. So click on the bio link in the description if you want to find out how. But let's go. We got another 15 seconds of some power roundhouses. Let's finish strong. Power right roundhouse. Throw it. Boom. There you go. Got two more. Roundhouse. Last one. Roundhouse. Good. Now let's go into the power left roundhouse. Now you can decide to either throw your switch kick or you can alternate into southpaw position and throw it just from southpaw. In this video, you'll see me throwing it from southpaw because personally I like to fight southpaw, so I like to be able to throw my left roundhouse without having to switch. So let's finish this round strong. Let's finish this portion strong and really just turn your hips and pivot your foot and really get your whole body rotating into the kick. It's not just your lower body. It's your entire upper body, your shoulders, your hips that are all going into the kick. So power left roundhouse. Get that shin going across. Power left roundhouse. Okay, we got another 15 seconds. Power left roundhouse. So we can get three more kicks in. Roundhouse. Good. One more. Roundhouse. One more. Roundhouse. One more. Roundhouse. Well done. This last round is going to be a little bit longer because we're going to do one more minute of power roundhouses again. And this is your power right roundhouse. So I'm not going to be talking. I just want you to be going through and throwing that right roundhouse with as much force and power as you possibly can. Try to break the heavy bag if you can. Come on, let's go. We got five more roundhouses in here. Power roundhouse. We're almost there. We got one more minute after this, but I want you to finish these right roundhouses nice and strong. Two more. Roundhouse. Last one. Roundhouse. All right, you know what time it is? Power left roundhouses. This is the last minute of your workout, so I want you to leave it all out there. Throw in these roundhouses with as much power and force as you possibly can. And finish strong. I know you can do it. Let's go. Power left roundhouse. Throw another one. There we go. Power roundhouse. Break some bones. Break that heavy bag. Let's see what you got. Good. 30 seconds left. Roundhouse. Again, roundhouse. Don't slow down. It's not the time to slow down. This is the fifth and final round. This is the championship rounds. Left roundhouse. Good. Let's get like six more in. Roundhouse. 
Looking good. Roundhouse. Throw some power in that. Finish strong. Three more. Good. Two more. Roundhouse. Last one. Roundhouse. Awesome job. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe because, like I said, you're a badass and you're going to want more Muay Thai stuff. So subscribe. You can watch more tutorials. And you can also check out the Heavy Bag Blueprint and use the code YouTube for 20% off if you want a complete course on the Heavy Bag. But thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll catch you in the next video.